I'm going to be talking about Schoolology, which is an app that you can use for your iPad. You can also do it on your computer. Um, that is how you have to set it up first. So first you have to go to either your, um, your internet browser and you're going to type in Schoolology. As a teacher, you have to have a um, already have an email set up. It will send you updates, so I kind of created a second one for school that for like things that send me a whole bunch of emails that I don't really want to check very often. Um, so that's the one that I used. Um, you either log in or sign up, and I'm going to choose log in since I already have one started. And my email is Casey Cheffins at gmail.com, and hopefully it remembered my password. And you can just log in like normal. Um, if you didn't want to have, if you didn't already have one set up, you would need to have another email. And to do that, you would click sign up. You're going to be an instructor. You're going to write your first name. And I'm going to make up a name. I'm going to be Mrs. Cheffins, and my email address would be, um, let's see if it'll take it. It might not take it since I already have one. And then I never want to receive updates. Oh, and it, it wouldn't let me. Um, so let's try the school one. Chef and see it in lrsd.org. And let's register this new name. Oh, apparently our... Oh, okay. It's taking me through. So then you're going to fill in what country you teach in, what state, um, the city, and your school's name. And then you go on and either skip this step or you can fill it out. Then um, you can do the tour. That'll always help you figure out how to set stuff up. But if you didn't want to have to do that, then you can just go ahead and, um, you know, kind of play around with your own account. Um, you can go home is where you are. Normally it sets you up. And then... Um, you need to set up your class. So the first thing you're going to do is set up your courses. Um, you're going to create a course. Create your course name. Um, mine is for guided reading. I use it for my discussion group in guided reading. Um, your subject area, language arts, grade level, grade one, and then you create. So what it's going to do is give you a code to help invite your students onto it. Right down here in the bottom corner, right here, it says access code RZWFM-KPD7X. And what that does is it lets your students be able to sign in. So say I was a student that had one of these and I wanted to um, join this new group. What I would do is, here, let me show you what it would look like. What it will do is you'll click on the Schoolology app that you downloaded, and then it says Enter Code Access. And so I will click RZWFM dash KP PD seven X, and then I will click Join. And it, what it should do is it will let me into this group. And so now I'm part of this group on top of maybe my other group that I was a part of. And so there it shows you the guided reading section one. And that's now a group that I am a part of. And it will, if I click on updates right here, it will bring me to all the updated things that that teacher or my other students might have loaded on. And if something doesn't refresh or you know you've uploaded something and you can't always just pull down on your screen and let it go up to update it. It should pop up whatever it is that um, you have updated. Now the students can do s several different things. 
um, when you go to your homepage, they can um, post, they can upload their own picture of themselves. They can take their own picture. Um, I haven't really let mine do it. I probably should. Um, I just got it started recently, so I'm still kind of learning a little about it myself. And so what the students are going to do, I'm going to mirror this again, is they see something a little different. So let's sign out so that you can see what um, the students see. And I'm going to log in as a student. I'm going to take it off really quick while I do so. What, how I sign my students up is I use their first and their last name and then use their first name followed by the number um, one, two, three, four. Sorry, it's hard to type and talk at the same time. Um, so then you sign in your student. You have to create an email for each one of your students. So create your email first, then sign up through Schoolology just like I showed you. And then this is kind of what theirs will look like. Um, this is a different discussion group, not one I just created. This is the one that they've been using. And they've been talking about um, this pet that's in their book. And it's what kind of dream pet do they think that they would have. And that's what Ariana asked, is what is your dream pet and why? Um, some of the others have answered. Um, they think like Ariana thinks that they're going to end up with the snake. Aaron thinks they're going to end up with other animals. Davion thinks they're going to end up with a s snake. Um, and Denia thinks they're going to end up with the parrot. Um, and then what they can do is record a video so that they can talk about what it is. And so this is the video Ariana posted today. And you'll only be able to hear it, unfortunately. And so if you listen to her, she was saying um, that she didn't like snakes and kind of told a little bit why she thought that would happen in the story along with what she thought. Um, you do have to be careful because sometimes they do get a little silly, like this is something that you can't read. So tomorrow during my group, we're going to pull it back and I'm going to, you know, ask, well, what is this? Why did you type this? What were you trying to type? And um, some of their typing skills, you know, are, are they're learning some of their typing skills. So sometimes it's a little easier for them to video themselves than it is to type. Um, it's very easy for them to post their own um, post. They click the plus sign in the top corner and they're going to click post. They get an option of either adding a photo or a video or they can just type in what they want. Um, mine love doing the videos, so they oftentimes, when they add a video, they're gonna take their photo or video, and they have to click the button with the camera where it flips it around, and then they can see themselves as they try and record. And so I've tried to teach them to look at the little micro or the little video camera, but sometimes it's very hard for them to do, um, and it, even for us to do, um, you want to look at yourself when you're talking. So um, sometimes, you know, they're always staring off to the side just because they're wanting to see what they look like. Um, then when they get done, they can type their message, they can create it, and it doesn't always show up right away. So like I said, pull down on it, release it, and then the new update will pop in. And um, the students can't delete any of their comments, but you can delete it as the master in your when you're the and you're signed in as yourself so that's kind of how it works for the students um there are other things the students can do i haven't played around with them too much you can give them grades you can give them quizzes um they can go in and update they can message each other i haven't taught mine how to use any of that right now because right now i'm just working on it for the discussion group um but if you want to play around with some of it, you're more than welcome to, and maybe you can send us a screencast about what you've learned through Schoology. If you have any other questions, um, email me at caseycheffins at gmail.com or cheffinsc at nlrsd.com, and I will be happy to write you back, and with, maybe we can come up with something together. 
Um, hope this answered some of your questions and hope you know how to use Schoology now.